Hi everybody, it's Jennifer with Creative Cricut Designs at Blogspot.com and today I'm going to be using my recently purchased Jelly Holidays Cricut cartridge so I am actually making a Christmas layout. Um, I know it's July so we'll just go with Christmas in July. Um, it's been super hot here and I would, if it snowed tomorrow I would probably be okay with that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm starting out with a piece of 12 by 12 craft cardstock. I have a piece of white 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters cardstock that I'm going to go ahead and adhere. And I'm just going to center it into the middle the best that I can. Like so. And then the next piece of cardstock that I have is this um, gingerbread or sugar cookies one. And I got this, I believe, from Oh My Crafts, I want to say either last year or the year before. Um, and I got a whole package of it. And I don't even remember what it was called or anything, but I got it with a bunch of breads and everything. I think it was all my crafts, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So I just took some of the, um, some paper out of that, and we're going to go ahead and adhere this as well. And then center this as well. Like that. And then what I did is I cut out the gingerbread men that are on the Ho Jolly Holidays cartridge. Well, we're calling them gingerbread boys and girls because I used girl faces and boy faces. And the faces that I used are from the um, wide eyed kids' face assortment pack. And I used the size uh, 3 quarter inch. For that, I'm going to go ahead and put them on pop dots. I did some doodling on them and I chalked them up with some um, cat's eye chalk ink just to kind of help them stand out from the background paper. Okay, so we're going to start at the top and I cut them, um, I cut four of them at two and three quarter inches. And you gotta do them on here just right to get them all to fit. Okay, there they are. And then I have my two photo mats that are going to go on here, and I'm actually going to do it this way. So I'll go ahead and adhere those. And the twine I used is from the twinery, and I believe it's maraschino cherry. I can look in one second. Okay, I'm just going to set that on there for right now. flip it so that the twines aren't right next to each other to kind of off-center it a little bit. Okay, like that. And it is maraschino. 
for the um, twine that I used, and then I just tied an extra piece around the top to kind of hold it in, or hold it together. Then this piece um, is from the Lacy Labels cartridge, and it is flower, let's see, flower three, which is this scalloped square, and then I just kind of stretched it in my gypsy, and the size that it ended up being was 7.13 3, 7 wide and 3.07 for height. And then I did a, um, go ahead and do some doodling on it with my white gel pen. And this is going to go center on the top. And then I cut out the Merry Christmas. And that's going to go in here like so. So we're going to go ahead and whoops, zig that up. Can adhere it. I need some scratch paper. And I'm just using a zip to a glue pen and I'm just dotting it throughout my word. And this I cut from the Christmas Cheer cartridge. Um, it's a solutions cartridge. So there's not a lot of layering. There's no layering to it. go ahead and get that adhered like so and then I'm gonna probably add some buttons on here so that is the layout that I made using the Jolly Holidays cartridge that I recently purchased from Cricut.com so thank you very much for watching and have a great day